Hello again everybody. Um, I just thought I'd bring a video today um, to talk about the heat that we've recently had um, and just to show some really cool behaviour of Milesius niger. Um, so yeah, first of all, um, it has got exceptionally hot last week um, where I live in London. The, the, the temperature grew throughout the week, getting steadily hotter until on Friday in my flat on Friday evening, it got up to 33 degrees, um, which is getting really hot um, even for ants. Um, so um, yeah, I just thought uh, I'd show you what happened. Um, and if you want to define intelligence as, as the ability to solve problems, then Lacius niger are one of the most in, in intelligent species of ant that there are, um, because they, they, if you give them the resources, they will solve any sort of problems that they're encountered with really, really well. Um, I saw a video by Ant Ramblings, actually, where he's lost um, a couple of queens due to the heat. Um, uh, to be honest, I, normally with my Lacius, as long as you give them access to everything, I don't worry about them. They'll figure it out. So, um, what, what can kill your ants in this heat? Well, basically, it's three things. Um, the heat itself, um, although it does have to get very, very hot to really cook Lacius niger. Um, so as long as you keep their, their setups out of direct sunlight, um, that you should be okay. They should be able to cope with these heat. Um, but what, what will harm them more than the actual heat is drying out. You've got to make sure they've got plenty of water. Um, so uh, what I did was I uh, made sure their nest was super watered. Um, uh, I've probably overwatered it slightly um, and it's condensated up today because as it's cooled, it's sucking the water back out the warm uh, air and it's condensating the nest. But I just wanted to make sure it was very highly watered during the heat. Um, but I looked in it and it was it was half empty um, and I couldn't understand where they'd all gone. Um, and, and it was missing all the pupa. There was a whole stack of pupa at the back of the, the nest um, and they'd all vanished. Um, and then I discovered, it's a bit hard to film, but I discovered that they, they'd taken everything and just gone into the underside of the water tower. These Wakushi water towers have a little sort of circular dome underneath the water tower and into there had gone pff, at least, I'd say, 25% of the ants from the nest, plus all of the mature pupa. Um, there was still the younger fluffy white pupa were left in the nest, but all the sort of ones that had gone a bit of a brown colour had disappeared and were all stuffed in under that water tower. So that's one of the ways that they uh, survive the heat. Um, and then this afternoon, after I got back from shopping, the temperature had dropped right down. It's down to 21 now this evening. And I looked again and they've moved everything back out of the water tower back into the nest. Um, and what you're looking at here, this pile of pupa and loads of these workers that you can see that are filled back up this centre section, all of that was stuffed under that um, dome under the water tower. Um, and then the, the other danger of um, hot weather is that your, your sugar um, whatever you use for sugar, if it's mixed with water, if you have to dilute your sugar solution, um, it can ferment um, and the hotter it gets, the, the faster it will ferment and fermented sugar is bad, if not toxic for ants, I think. Um, so I use sugars that I don't dilute. Um, I, I, I've told, I said this before, my, my basic go-to sugar is Clark's maple syrup. Um, it's something like 68% sugar it's there this is their hardcore sugar that they want when they're trying to take in sugar and what i do is i i take a, a, a relatively large drop put it onto a piece of baking paper and and then move it around with the point of a cocktail stick and because the baking paper repels liquid it, it settles into all these tiny tiny little drops that you see here um, and i feed a piece of paper like that to them twice a day um, so, so they get a, a feed like that morning and evening so i do have to be quite labor intensive with them but i do enjoy feeding them i enjoy watching them go for the, the food each time um, and if I ever go away or have to, to leave them for a few days, what I do is I take a, a little ball of cotton wool and just soak that with maple syrup so there's a lot more in there and they'll suck it from that without it um, endangering them getting stuck in it. 
Um, but then they, they also like and they have access to these sort of more watery sugars. So I feed them fruits and um, apple is is 10 percent <coughs> sugar. Um, so it's a lot lower than the, the maple syrup. And what they're going for almost as much as the sugar in the apple is the water content. And then, as I said before, what, what I tried them with was um, cucumber. And they love cucumber in hot weather. So um, I looked cucumber up and cucumber is 1.7 um, percent sugar so it's mostly water that they're taking out of the cucumber with a tiny bit of sugar in it and they seem in, in especially in the hot weather to absolutely love that mix of sugar to water which is done naturally so I haven't got to worry about it fermenting too much I mean I'm sure it would if you left it in there too long but um, they covered this this cucumber that you can see it's actually quite new it was put in on Friday morning and this was filmed on um, Saturday morning so 24 hours later they totally trashed it covered it in sand um they started living you know a good chunk of the colony was was living here um during friday they were living in the bottle top underneath the cucumber probably because it was so humid here and they had ready access to water uh, I did put a water test tube in their outworld just to make sure, give them even more access to water, but they didn't really. I saw a couple take a quick drink, but they mostly ignored the water test tube, but they loved the cucumber. As you can see from these shots, they were all over it um, and they started burrowing into it. I had ants tunneling in this cucumber. It was quite a, bit, a, a relatively large junk that I put in because um, I knew it was very hot. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, my, my Laceus niger um, solved the heat problem themselves. They moved bits of the colony around um, to, to accommodate for the heat. And I haven't seen any dead workers in there. So um, I think they survived everything just fine. Um, and the, they've all moved back again. They've moved back into the nest and the cucumber's very quiet today. Hardly any ants on it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody.